Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today I've got a budget banger from Nike. Is the Nike Revolution 6. If you're new to the channel, welcome along. If you've not seen one of my videos before, I always look into five main things when I review a pair of sneakers, then at the end of the video, I will give them an overall rating out of five stars. If you like what you see, do not forget to give the video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button below. And if you also want to subscribe to get more content, please feel free to do so. Let's kick this review off of these Nike Revolution 6 Next Natures by checking them out on feet. Very excited, in fact surprisingly excited to have this pair of shoes in hand. These Nike Revolution 6 Next Natures are the follow up to the Nike Revolution 5s that I reviewed some time ago and I really did like them because they, as well as the 5s, these 6s are a budget shoe. They're definitely down at the lower end of Nike's price range. Now I want you to take that into account as the review goes on and I will definitely talk more about the price in more detail at the end. But remember, these are definitely a budget pair of kicks. Now you can see from the box on my right that this shoe here, the follow-up to the fives, this Nike Revolution 6 is part of the Next Nature Move to Zero campaign from Nike, where they wanna be a zero carbon waste, zero emission company. And by doing that, they've made at least 20% of this shoe recycled. So you get recycled polyester in this upper that you can see here with the large swoosh branding on the outside of your foot, and as you move to the inside of your foot, you've got a smaller swoosh there. I do quite like that detail. It's very, very basic on the upper, very, very basic indeed. You've got TPU detailing around the lace loops just there to add some more support. You've got additional TPU detailing at the heel with a hardened heel cup. Then you've got this recycled polyester on the top, which is perforated, and it's perforated all the way around. And then on the back of the shoe, it's just a slightly different tone of gray. Now this comes in many different colorways at the moment. My favorite by far is the triple black colorway because I think it just looks really slick and really clean. But with this one here, you can kind of spot the different details. So I thought I'd review this gray colorway. Now for the midsole, they've moved away from that kind of lookalike React mid that made a lot of people think that the Revolution 5s were just a cheap version of the Reacts. What they've gone with is really what looks like the New Balance Fresh Foam cutaways on the midsole here. Now, there's no recycled elements that I can tell in this foam midsole because there's no speckles, but when you move to the outsole for the shoe, you do get those more of those React style cutaways. What you've also got is some rubber elements of flex in there that show that part of this outsole is possibly recycled as well as the polyester that features in the upper. Now, I'm not bowled away by their looks, especially in hand, but they definitely look better on feet. But to be honest, I don't think it's that much of an improvement on the fives. The only difference I can really tell is that what they've done with the shoe is they've made it a lot narrower in the toe box. Revolution 5s did fan out quite a lot, but they've made this quite narrow in the toe box. And I'll talk more about that now as we move on to the comfort when I put this EVA mid foam to the test on our backdoor step. You can see from the step test that this EVA foam midsole that's in the style of the fresh foams from New Balance really did offer a nice amount of responsive bounce back from toe to heel. Now it's definitely softer to the touch than the midsole that appeared on the Revolution 5s. Comfort wise underfoot, they do offer really nice all day comfort, but do not get carried away. These are part of the basic budget range from Nike. It's got an unnamed midsole on it. When it's unnamed, it definitely means it's not gonna perform as well as a named mid like a React. So if you are gonna buy these, that yes, they are gonna offer nice comfort throughout the day. They're, they're really good like start out gym shoe, start out running shoe, or a shoe if you are gonna wear them at work all day like my wife's going to, but they're not gonna blow you away. But for the price, 
I was nicely surprised by how much comfort they do offer. Now on top of your foot and fit wise, you've got a nice amount of foam detailing here around the ankle. And also there's a nice foam inlay underneath this perforated polyester on the top, which offers really nice comfort. Now they do come in a perfect size for me. I've got perfect length size 10 feet and I didn't have any issues with the length. I have slightly wider than average feet, but this toe box, even though it is narrower, actually offered really nice space and there's a lot of give in this material. So it actually did offer a nice amount of comfort and I wouldn't say you need to go any sizes different to your natural true fit size with these. Now I wanna move on to their weight where I'm gonna pop them on the scales and show you how much they weigh. Coming in at 304 grams, that's an absolutely great weight for any pair of sneakers. Now, yes, these are a budget shoe, so the amount of materials used is definitely going to be limited, but that's really helped them out weight-wise. Now, anything really under the 350, definitely under the 330 gram mark, for me, is considered a lightweight shoe. And it's really good to know that these just coming in at over 300 grams are going to offer you really nice lightweight comfort. I say lightweight comfort because when a shoe's heavy, I feel like you can definitely feel that when you're wearing them around all day. But because these are so lightweight, like I said, you could definitely get away with wearing these as an everyday all day shoe. Now I want to move on to their breathability where I want to put this perforated upper to the test by pumping some smoke through it. Great result in the breathability test. The smoke really flew out from this perforated upper quickly and in large amounts. Now, even though there's an inner sock lining underneath this perforated material, it still offered great breathability in the midfoot and the toe area. It dropped off towards the back of the shoe because obviously you've got this padding that starts here where the shoe kind of goes into this lighter gray. That's to be expected. Overall, I think they're a really nice breathable shoe. Now I wanna move on to their price. I've been banging on about this all video because yes, they are a budget shoe from Nike and their price comes in at 55 pounds. Now that is the official price on the Nike website and app. But if you shop around, I actually got these for 45 pounds. I've also seen them listed for 50 pounds. So don't be afraid to shop around if you do fancy snapping up a pair. And I think that is a great price point, especially if you're just looking to start out in something, start out going to the gym, start out running, start out just going for a walk every day for half an hour, or you're looking for a school, gym, college shoe. These are gonna give you enough comfort and breathability all day. Now my overall score for these shoes is gonna be a very, very strong four and a half stars. It's very high, but I just can't give these the full five just because I think the looks for me are just too basic. They look like a budget shoe. I just wish they'd make shoes that this price that look a little bit more interesting. But every other category, the comfort, the weight, the breathability and the price really did score very, very well. And please do take into account that if you are gonna buy these, they're not gonna offer you the same comfort as a 120 pound shoe. If these were 120 pounds, the comfort score would be much less. But for the price, for an entry level sneaker, I do think they offer more comfort than the previous release of the Nike Revolution 5s. Now, if you like what you've seen today, please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up like before you leave. You can also follow me on Instagram. Any questions, feel free to DM me or drop any comments below. Hope to see you again soon, bye.